In this video, I'm going to show you a unique way to edit your streaming clips so that you can get more views on social media and why you need to do it this way. But if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Jason, the Bobolski, and I'm here to help you become a better streamer. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Now, it's no secret that one of the ways to grow your streaming channel is to make evergreen content on other platforms, such as social media. And one great technique that most streamers do is to take their streaming highlights, break them up into little clips and post them on social media. And there's nothing inherently wrong about this. Every streamer should be doing it. But what I see streamers do is just to take those clips without any editing or hardly any editing and just upload them to social media. And while that's better than nothing, that's actually the wrong way to go about sharing your streaming clips. And that's because every social media platform is its own entity with an algorithm that favors users and posts that abide by that algorithm. So what are the rules of the algorithm? Well, let me break it down for you. Twitter and Facebook love square videos. Instagram loves vertical videos. Or if you're doing stories or IGTV, they love portrait videos. And if you start doing stuff on TikTok, they also favor portrait videos as well. Now that you know the why behind it, let's go into my editing program of choice, which is DaVinci Resolve, and show you a unique way that I edit my streaming clips for each platform. And by the way, this will work for any editing program that you use that favors multi-layered video editing such as Resolve, Premiere Pro, whatever you use, as long as you have two layers of video, this will work. So here I am in DaVinci Resolve. I have my clip loaded into my editor. As you can see here in my bins, I have several timelines, one for the original landscape, one for square videos, one for vertical videos, which has a four by five aspect ratio, and then a portrait video, which has nine by 16 aspect ratios. So let me go ahead and set the in and out points I know already I want for this video. Okay, so let's go into my square timeline and I'm gonna go to click and drag the clip to my square. And this is what it looks like with no editing whatsoever. You get black bars on top and bottom with the clip automatically fitting into the timeline. This is something Resolve does automatically, but we're gonna change that. So let me shut out my media pool and let's go to my inspector tab. Now this will look different depending on your editing software, but you should have some type of inspector tab or properties tab that will allow you to change the properties of your videos, such as zoom or scale, position, rotation, anchor point. So just make sure that you find it. So I'm just gonna zoom into where just the center portion of the gameplay is in frame. And this technique is really good for FPS shooters, PVE, PVPs, and stuff where right in the middle is where most of your gameplay action is. So let's just look at this right quick. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the position so right here that you can still see my camera box. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. So I'm just gonna move the position a little bit to the left and get it more center, went a little too far out right there so right there in the middle so now i got everything lined up where i want in the video for this part the main part of the video i wanted to highlight is when i did this snipe to someone i met in the gaming group i'm part of and that's the highlight of the video but now what the problem is that you hear my voice in the commentary but you don't see my face so let's change that and this is where this becomes really unique because there's hardly anybody doing this so let's make it so that you can actually see my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press alt on my timeline and click and hold until I make a duplicate of my video and place it on top of the original video. So I have video one, video two. Uh, I'm going to unlink this and I don't need this audio. Don't need to duplicate the audio. Just need to duplicate the video. And so now what I'm going to do with this top video, because in video editing, whatever's on the top layer, the most top layer, that's what the editor is going to see first. Just imagine if you're looking down at something, whatever's on top, you're going to see first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this so that you can see my face. And I kind of want it at the very top. 
So we're just gonna move it up too much. Resolve has a way of doing this. Move it to where it's like in the top center. About right there is looking good. And now I'm gonna scroll down to cropping and some other editing platforms. I know Premiere, you actually have to do a crop filter, but go into cropping and I'm just gonna start cutting out all the pieces I don't want. What I want is just my camera, my logo, and that's it. So we're gonna crop left until you start seeing it. Oh, here it comes. Yep, right there on the left. Don't have to worry about the right because that's already cropped because it's at the very end of the video. The top, we're gonna come down, not too much. About right there, 210, sound looks good. And at the bottom, right there. So now, oh, it's a, now it's a little bit too big how I want it. So I'm just gonna move the zoom. Oh, I need to move the anchor point so it's centered, but that's not something we really, really need to worry about now. So I'm just gonna scale it down move the position of it because I don't want the camera to interfere with the action going on in the gameplay. And that's it. That's all I do. Now you see the square video where the action that you want to see it's in the video plus you see my face with the commentary and my reaction when i knock down this guy so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select it all Control c or command key on a mac let's go to the vertical timeline paste and now all you got to do in the vertical timeline is just make just reposition everything so this bottom layer we're going to we're going to move it we're going to scale it up so that's filling the entire screen. And this, we're gonna zoom in just a little bit more, reposition it. Make sure everything looks good. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Now copy and paste into your other timelines and then you're gonna have a video native to each social media platform will help you get more views on your clips so that you can help grow your stream, grow your brand to reach a bigger audience. And that's how I edit my streaming clips for each social media platform so I can get more views. So let me know in the comments below if you found this tip helpful. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button and share this video out. Let's help beat YouTube's algorithm. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel with the bell notification on for more streaming tips. But until next time, I'm Jason, the Bobolski. Go have a good stream.